Hello, and welcome to the Nuclear Fission versus Fusion screencast with Miss Willie. Nuclear fission is the process where a large radionuclide is bombarded or struck with a free neutron, which is extremely unstable. The parent nuclide absorbs the neutron, is then split into one or more daughter isotopes, three free moving neutrons, and an extreme amount of energy. Because remember, the strong nuclear force is what holds the nucleus together. Anytime I have an interaction with that strong nuclear force, there are going to be extreme amounts of energy that are absorbed or released. In this case, it is going to be released. Nuclear fission, just from the last one, can propagate a chain reaction. So those three neutrons that are produced from a fission reaction can then propagate and hit three more isotopes, causing that to create a chain reaction, which is exactly what happens in a nuclear reactor. So write the balanced nuclear equation for the fission reaction below. I'm going to do just like I did in the last screencast, where I have to make sure that the subatomic particles on the reactant side and the product side are equal. So I'm going to add up the nucleons, or all of the neutrons and protons, from the product side, which would be 142 plus 91 plus 3 because just like in a chemical equation, the coefficient is multiplied to the superscript, which would give me 236. So my nucleon number from the reactant side is 236. Now I'm going to add the number of protons from the product side to see how many protons should be on my reactant side. So 56 plus 36 gives me 92. So if I look at my periodic table, the element that is associated with 92 protons is uranium. So the reactant to this fission problem was uranium-236. Nuclear fission occurs both naturally and artificially. Due to the large amount of energy generated by nuclear fission, nuclear react reactors have been generated and used to supply power via the nuclear power plants. We have two nuclear power plants here in Texas, one in Glenrose and one in Bay City, and there's a natural fission reactor in Gabon, Africa. Unfortunately, the use of nuclear fission has also been misused for weapons as well. When nuclear fission goes wrong, in 1979 at Three Mile Island, the nuclear power plant in the United States, a cooling malfunction caused part of the core to melt in the number two reactor, and the reactor was destroyed. Nobody is allowed on Three Mile Island to this day. Chernobyl in 1986 is the result of a flawed reactor design that was operated with inadequately trained personnel. The resulting steam explosion and fires release at least 5% of radioactive reactor core into the environment with the deposition of radioactive materials in many parts of Europe. Following a major earthquake, a 15 meter tsunami disabled the power supply and cooling of three Fukushima Daiichi reactors, causing a nuclear accident on March 11th of 2011. All three cores largely melted in the first three days. But when it goes right, you are housed in Texas, so you have two of those power plants that produce 33% of the state's emission-free electricity. That means there are no carbon dioxide or monoxide being released from nuclear power. Nuclear energy generates nearly 20% of our nation's electricity and provides more than 55% of our emission-free power. It's essential to partner to renewable energy. The use of nuclear energy in 2018 prevented the emission of 528 million metric tons of carbon dioxide. This is equal to the amount released in a year by 112 million passenger cars. Nuclear fusion. Under incredibly high temperature and pressure, 
two smaller nuclei are fused together. In this example, you have tritium and deuterium, which are two isotopes of hydrogen, large amount of heat and pressure that create or and fuse together to create an alpha particle, which is a helium. This is the process that occurs in the sun and produces solar energy. This is also what is what is on Iron Man's chest. He has a fusion reactor on his chest. Write the balanced nuclear equation for the fusion reaction below. So just like in all of our previous nuclear equations, I have to make sure that my subatomic particles are equal on both sides. So I have four plus one, which gives me a total of five. I already have two on the reactant side. So this must be a three because three plus two is five. On the bottom over here, I have two protons. So I need two protons on the reactant side. So one plus one is two. So this would be a hydrogen and a tritium creating helium, just like in our last diagram. Like on Iron Man's chest, he is using cold fusion. Cold fusion was huge in the late 80s. There was a group of scientists who thought that they had created fusion at much lower temperatures and pressure on planet Earth because this would produce extreme amounts of energy for us, even more so than fission. So we've been working to try and find cold fusion. This has not been successful. But in the last few years, Google has partnered with grad students and scientists and are trying to create, recreate cold fusion and see if we can do it. So in conclusion, fission is when I'm bombarding a radionuclide with neutron and I split that new nuclide into daughters and three more neutrons and an extreme amount of energy happens in a nuclear reactor. Fusion is when I take two smaller nuclides and they and with under extreme heat and pressure, they can fuse together and create extreme large amounts of energy like in our sun. Thank you for watching.